Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. I want to talk a little bit here about a flow bench because people are so dependent on flow bench and flow numbers and they have a purpose. Uh, the right ones do anyway, but I want to show you how I have my super flow set up. So you'll see here, see how the calibration is on the bench. So we're looking at, see the 149, the 294, the 442. If you put those numbers directly into your software, such as Flowcom or PT Black Box, your numbers are gonna be wrong. The reason being, those are 25 inch numbers. So after you use that number, do your math, there's another formula you have to use to get the right numbers for your black box. So. The easiest way is this. I have some PTS plates. I have some certified stainless plates. But for example, this right here is a 2.504 hole. Should flow 450. I have it set up on my bench with no fixture to flow 440.8. So if I put that on my fixture to get it to flow 440.8, the new number that I need in my bench on a 500 scale is 447.2, which is five CFM more than the bench. And it still doesn't read what the hole should read. So I get this about different flow bench numbers and my bench is high, this bench is low. My bench is right, period. It's right. It's calibrated. It's calibrated to the best of my ability. I don't fudge, it is what it is. Here's another thing. The design of this Superflow bench, the air comes in here, there's a flat plate, the actual orifice is at an angle. You rotate the disc, the smaller the holes, that's why the calibration is different. It's a crude hole. It's done with a hole saw, okay? Not, not very precision. This is a bench my dad and I built 15 years ago that uses these same sharp plates. This right here is a 707 hole. So you can see how it's got a deflector and how the air has to go around the deflector to go through the hole, much like a new 1020. This bench reads totally different than that bench. Unless I set it up proper. Is it wrong? No, it's not wrong. It sees the air different. It absolutely sees the air different. So it's going to flow different. It's gonna flow different in reverse. It's gonna flow different on the exhaust. This, in my opinion, is an average at best setup, but it's the industry standard. So as long as I know my flow numbers are right for my bench, that's all that matters. My numbers on my side are used for pipe mags, for port analyzer, for those type of programs. I don't. I will repeat, and I'll say it slowly, I don't sell flow numbers. I sell results, full list of results on my webpage. That's what it's all about. Let's get to the flow. This is a Dragon Slayer, brand new out of the box. Just pop the spring off of it. On my bench, I even give it the benefit of the doubt. Put it on a 4155 fixture. So we got two to 700, 139, 203, 146, 269, 280, 283. Here's what's on the site. You see it? 142, I have 139. 212, I have 203. 260, 246. What the heck is that? 287, 269, 302, 280, 304, 283. Does that make, does that make Brodex numbers wrong? No, it does not. It absolutely doesn't. It makes my bench different than their bench. And with what I use for software, I can, Take my flow numbers for my bench and I can tell you what you're gonna make for power. Pretty simple. 
So advertised flow numbers. All right, that number right there. If I take this cylinder head, I blend everything, I put a back cut on it, it will flow that. Those are mass produced heads, absolutely. It's a great head, heavy casting, good casting. I'm getting ready to go off on it. I'm gonna make a port program out of it. We're gonna find out how good the Dragon Slayer is. So I just wanted to take a second. Oh, one more thing, exhaust, exhaust flow numbers. Waste of time on the flow bench. I turn the electronics off. I use my pitot tube. The throat's a certain percentage of the exit. It is what it is. Done deal over. Who cares? I still advertise them. One simple reason. Port flow analyzer, pipe max, those type of programs ask for it. Cam guy asks for it. But all it is is a relationship from the throat area to the exit area you want it as quiet as it can be you want to kill low flow you do that with a radius seat you try to kill the reversion but the actual flow bench numbers are meaningless absolutely meaningless and i've got all kinds of pipes pipes there pipes there there's inlet plates that's a brzezinski 1206 you've got to have a radius plate on here by the way don't flow it without it, you'll kill a bunch. So just want to take a little time this morning to show you this. Again, if you have any questions, give me a holler, hit me up. 785-623-0963. Appreciate each and every one of you, and you all have a good day. Thank you.